guys, long time no see. Um, for anyone who doesn't read my blog, before we get to today's workout, I'm just gonna really quickly catch you up on where I've been the last month. So I'm currently in the process of becoming a certified aromatherapist, which sounds kind of random, but I've always been super into essential oils. And I'm at the tail end of my class, so these last few weeks I've had a 10 page paper and ton of assignments to get through, so I've really just been focusing on that. Also, um, in addition to posting workouts to YouTube, I teach group fitness at a studio here in Boston. Um, in August, I'm taking the whole month off from teaching and moving back home to the vineyard so I can just focus on the blog. That being said, leading up to that month off, um, I've been subbing a ton of classes. So I've just been really busy and unfortunately the blog and channel have kind of fallen to the wayside, but that is changing now because for the next month, this is my sole focus. So today we're gonna finish up the Tabata Superset series that I started four score and seven years ago at this point. Um, today's is gonna focus on total body, but I just did it and let me tell you, I would say the emphasis is on lower body. Yes, core and arms are, are going to be engaged, but my legs were dead by the end. It uses the same structure you've seen in the previous two workouts. Um, it, a Tabata is eight rounds of 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. In a traditional Tabata, you would do the same exercise all eight rounds. That's not how we're doing it today though, putting a little spin on the Tabata. I'm gonna give you two exercises and you'll alternate between them in an ABAB fashion. You'll rest in between each superset while I give you a preview of the next two exercises. And in total, you will be doing three supersets. That means this is 12 minutes of work, no equipment is needed. So this is a great one to do anywhere if you're on vacation, away from the gym, or just short on time and space. As with all workouts, always make sure you're properly warmed up beforehand and always listen to your body modifying or stopping as needed. Before each superset, I'll give you a preview of the exercises and during that preview, I'll also show you how to modify so that you'll know what to do should the need arise. If you're new to my channel, I don't play music in the background because I want you to be able to listen to whatever songs you like. So if you don't have a playlist queued up, you might wanna get that going. Other than that, I will stop blabbing away. This first superset is going to focus on lower body. First exercise will be those star jump squat jacks. So start down low in a squat with your feet close together. You're going to hop them out wide and then back to center, staying low, and then you will jump up, spreading your arms and legs out to the sides. So you might feel a little silly doing the star jumps, um, but it requires a lot of energy. It really is a good explosive exercise. So it's effective. I promise you're not just looking like a goon for no reason. <laughs> and rest 10 seconds. So we will go into side lunge hops. You're gonna isolate the same leg this whole 20 seconds. So opposite hand is gonna touch the floor by that foot and then you're hopping up on that same side. If you need to modify this, just take out the hop at the top. Still drive that opposite knee up though because I want your core to really be active here. When you do the hop, you don't need to get a ton of air even if that, those toes are just lightly coming off the floor for a second. Okay, and rest. First set done, doing that three more times. Starting back at the top, squat jacks with those star jumps. If you have bad knees, you can always take out the jump. Um, before this set started, I showed you how to take it out at the top. You could also take out the jump at the bottom too instead just stepping your feet wide and stepping them back to center. Last few seconds here. Shake it out. Okay, so we're gonna go to those lunge hops, this time on the other side. <laughs> 20 seconds. So the goal is to get as many reps in in the 20 seconds as you possibly can without sacrificing proper form. So if things start to get sloppy, slow it down. That always takes priority, but otherwise, you wanna get that heart rate up fast, fast, fast. <laughs> and shake it out. Just like that, you're halfway there, back at the top with those squat jack star jumps. Boop, boop. 
over halfway there. Really push. Try to stay active the whole 20 seconds. You can see I am slowing down. I'm dying. Shake it out. Back to those side lunge hops. Remember, we're alternating each round. So go back to the leg we started on initially. Hand to the floor. Hop up. Drive that knee up. So your core is engaged when you hop up. As you pull the knee into your chest, think belly button to spine. Last few seconds, push. Try to get in a few more reps. Okay, we have just one more set to go. That's two more push intervals. Last time you're going to see these squat jack star jumps. Get low and let's go. Okay, as you can see, I'm kind of slowing down. I'm struggling here. Um, if form is sloppy, slow it down, but try to stay active. Let's see if we can go continuous work right till you hear those beeps. Last few seconds here, get in one, maybe two more reps. Woo, okay. One more to go. That's it. 20 seconds. Side lunge hops, switch sides. You're at the halfway point. Keep going right to the end, right till you hear those beeps. Do not stop. You got it. It's just a few more seconds. Try to get in one or two more reps. And shake it out. I'm going to show you the next two exercises. Focus on core for this superset. However, your shoulders are going to feel this too, and our quads will get a little love as well. We're going to start in a plank position, and we're going to go into that bear plank to donkey kick. So from plank, you're going to hop your feet in so that your knees are right under the hips in a tabletop position, and then kick yourself in the butt with that donkey kick. Ten seconds of rest. So now we're going to make our way to a side plank position and do a top kick. So that means top leg, top hand. Doesn't matter which side you start on, we will alternate. Now, if your wrists bother you staying in a side plank position, especially since we're doing this right after a center plank position, feel free to do this one on that bottom forearm instead of on your hand. Same move, just a little lower, get you off your wrists. Shake it out. Take advantage of these 10 seconds of rest to really roll out those shoulders, open up through the chest, um, since we are doing this whole thing in a plank. All right, back to those donkey kicks, feet in, hop up, back to plank. Now, if you need to rest during this, instead of resting, think of taking an active pause. So you'll notice as I tire, I'm stopping in the tabletop for a second, I'm stopping in the plank for a second, but I'm not dropping those knees, I'm not disengaging all the way. Okay, rest. We're going back to the side plank kick, switch sides so your other hand or forearm is going to be down. Now, as you do the kick here, I want you to think about keeping your hips lifted. So I don't want that bottom hip to start sagging down towards the floor like a hammock. So lift up, squeeze through that side body. A few more seconds here. Rest, roll out those wrists, roll out those shoulders. You're already halfway through. Back to those bear plank to donkey kicks. A few more seconds, try to get in one or two more reps. and rest. Okay, three more push intervals to go. You got it. Five down, three to go. Make your way to the original side plank side. 
So part of what makes this one challenging is the instability that's caused by swinging your leg and arm forward and back. Stabilize, and as you swing the leg back, try not to rest it on your bottom foot. So see if we can keep that leg hovering the whole time. That's going to increase the difficulty. And rest. Two more work intervals to go. You got this, guys. This is the last time you're going to see that bear plank to donkey kick. Now, if you're like me and starting to really feel this one, again, it's okay to pause for a brief second, but pause actively. You're in that plank or you're in that bare tabletop position. Try to get to the end without dropping those knees. It's just a few more seconds. One more rep. Let's go. Rest. Okay, one last time. We have those side plank kicks, flip-flop sides. Now remember, if you need to modify, you can always drop that bottom knee down. But if you were able to do the other side on your foot, I want you to try to stay on your foot for this side too. Think of keeping everything even. Last couple seconds. And done. I will show you the exercises for superset number three. Third and final superset coming up, we're going to start with those burpees. And it is a full burpee, which means you're lowering your chest all the way to the floor and then pressing back up and jumping overhead. If you need to modify, though, you can always just jump back into a plank or like I demoed at the start of this, drop your knees down first. As many reps as you can. Keep it up. Last few seconds here. Try to get in one, maybe two more reps. And rest. Okay, we're gonna go into a squat jump, adding in an obliques twist. This section, it's really total body, legs, upper body, and core getting some love here. So one jump squat, and then twist opposite elbow, opposite knee, engaging through the core. If you need to modify, take out the jump so it's just a squat to a twist. And rest, two down, six work intervals to go. You got this. We are so close to the end of this workout. Three minutes, that's it. Let's get to those burpees. A few more seconds here. Try to get in one more rep. And rest. Squat jump with oblique twist coming up at the beeps. So when you land in the jump squat, think of sinking down softly. So you're not stopping with straight legs. You sink right back down into your next squat. So those legs are really going to be on fire. Shake it out. Halfway there. Now challenge yourself. You only have two more minutes left in this workout. Think back to the pace you were doing those burpees at the first interval. Can you try to match that pace? So if you notice things starting to slow down, that's when you got to tap into that mental strength. Just keep telling yourself, under two minutes, that's it. Push, push, push. And rest. Squat jump with oblique twist coming up next. Now you can always modify, you know how to do that, but try not to stop during the 20 seconds, okay? The 10 seconds of rest is the only time you can be still. I want you active the whole work interval.
Shake it out. Okay, we're in our final set. One minute of work to go. Really just 40 seconds, though. We have those two 20-second pushes. Burpees, make this your best push yet. Let's go. Halfway there. Last time you're going to see this exercise, everything you got. Can you get in two more reps here? Shake it out. You have one more push to go. 20 seconds. That's nothing. We got this. Squat jump to obliques twist. Let's go. 20 seconds all out, okay? I do not want you to pause during the 20 seconds. You can do this. Empty the tank as far as it comes to effort. 10 seconds to go. You got this. And done. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that workout. If you did, you know the drill. Give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. I'll be back next Monday with another workout, and I'm also going to start going into my blog archives and making videos for older workouts that currently just have a pictorial to go with them. So if you have any requests for an old workout from the blog that you love and you want to see a video with it, leave your request below in the comments. I already have a few from you guys that I've written down. I'm on it. I haven't forgotten about them. Um, so you'll gradually see those coming out as well. All right, see you next week.